nothing much to do when you're out here alone. But listen to the radio to daylight break. Hey, good morning, good morning, ladies and gentlemen. This is the Trucker Rudy coming to you this fine morning. Yeah, let's take a look. Well, I don't know how much you're gonna be able to see, but there is some slush and snow out there. So, yeah. And we're just getting ready to get into it. Yes, indeed, we are. So, if you are ready to come and ride along with the truck of Rudy, leave a big thumbs up and let's get on the road. We have just gone through Minneapolis, ladies and gentlemen. Yes, indeed, and as you can see, the ground is white. Yes, indeed. Looks like even them trees up there are white, all covered in snow and ice and all that stuff. And it still seems to be on and off snowing and then it's drizzling and all that good stuff. But yeah, we're just making our way home, sweet home, that's for sure. But anyways, I just wanted to show you a little bit on all this white stuff over here and what's it doing up here. Yeah, so anyways, we'll continue with our journey and we'll show you what we can. Alright guys, looks like we got a, some kind of thing going on here. We got the cops out here and the tow truck it looks like. And, oh, it almost looks like they were in the ditch up there, that's what it looked like. They pulled them out. Oh wow, yeah, that car looked like it definitely was in the ditch. Everybody moving over to the left lane, so yeah, somebody hit the ditch. I don't know why, I don't see the road is not slippery whatsoever, but oh well, I guess that happens when it gets winter, eh? Somebody probably not paying attention and they went in the ditch. But anyways, we just figured I'd show you a little bit. Luckily it wasn't a bad backup that we had, there is only a little bit of a backup. Alrighty guys, we have decided to make a pit stop here in uh, Suck Center, Manitoba. Yeah, look at that, we got some fresh snow up here as well, so uh, we're gonna do a little shopping. The wife needs some more for cleaning products, so uh, we can usually only get it over here, so we're gonna go down here and get that for her she don't know that so we're gonna surprise her with that all right i just went inside and grabbed the stuff the uh, floor polishing slash cleaning and restoring stuff and uh yeah i was gonna go in there and grab me a subway sandwich to eat and now all of a sudden they have removed the subway out of this uh walmart that kind of sucks you know, one of the better, healthier eating fast food restaurants, I guess you could say, was the Subway, and uh, now I can't even eat at it anymore here at the Walmart here in Suck Center, Minnesota. So, now we're basically forced to continue on moving somewhere else, eating somewhere else. Now I know there's a McDonald's over there, but I don't really care for McDonald's, so we're not going to do that. We're going to go somewhere else, probably go up to Fergus Falls or something like that. And then we'll probably, uh, probably have us a bite to eat over there, probably go in there and get me a good decent breakfast in there probably. In 700 feet, turn left on US 71 and then take the entrance to the right in 900 feet. Yeah, she said that they moved the subway up here to the main street somewhere, so. Yeah, that's where the McDonald's is right there. And, oh well. You can't stop there with the truck, so. Just making it harder and harder for us truckers to find a decent place to eat, I guess. You guys know this place already by now, I would almost think. Yeah, I think so. We are in Fergus Falls, Minnesota. <laughs> yes, indeed we are. And we're making our way back home, sweet home. 
but since we told you guys earlier that uh, there that uh, Walmart didn't have any food in there pretty much to eat well they do have some I guess but in 300 feet turn left on CR 82 and then they kind of the got rid of the uh, subway there so I was getting hungry I you know once you put yourself into that state or your mind that you want to have a bite to eat, then, uh, <laughs> you know, it's like, you're getting hungry. So I have to go in there and have me a bite to eat. In 200 feet, take the entrance to the right on I-94 West US 59 North. And it was a very, very nice meal. I've had that uh, omelette before. So I knew what to expect and it was very good again. I actually like stopping in here. Get me a good bite to eat. Now we're ready to roll again. I don't think we're going to make any more pit stops unless we need to use the bathroom or anything like that. But other than that, I think we're going to go ahead and put the hammer down, the as they say. For 64 miles. Yeah, we're very low on over speed yet, even so. And I got this very light load. So we're not doing too bad on fuel mileage. So uh, I think what I'm going to do is I'm probably going to kick her up a notch or two, or three, or maybe four. <laughs> yeah, get, a, get the speed limit up a little bit. Put the hammer down and let's make our home sweet home. Yeah, let's actually do the speed limit for a change. I think that might be good for the engine too, you know. Run a little different uh, different speed limit than what the engine is used to. and Run the speed limit for a couple of hours, you know. Not that I want to get the speed limit up, you know, on the overspeed there or whatever. Like, we're allowed 4% a month. And I was like 0 0.3 or something like that. So, I'm, you know, I've been behaving very well this month, actually. And I figured, you know what? Let's kick it up a notch. It's very uh, quiet over here. Not much wind or anything like that. Road is good. Nice and dry. I mean, it doesn't look like it's exactly 100% dry, but it's not really wet either. Not icy or anything like that. So, we're safe doing it. I mean, the speed limit is 70 mile an hour. And so we'll be a hammer down, hammer down. I think we'll make one more pit stop for sure. And that is at the duty free shop. I know a friend of mine had asked me to bring him some uh, cologne from the duty free shop there. And we have the one that I showed you guys the other day on Jukebox's channel. Uh, that's the one that we really like and he does too. And so he uh, asked me if I would bring him some and I said, sure, why not? So I'm thinking I'm gonna be pulling in over there and probably get some. But anyways, in the meantime, we'll hammer down. Welcome back to Canada, ladies and gentlemen. Yes, indeed, we are back in Canada. Home sweet home. Although, we are in fall conditions right now yes indeed we are it is very very foggy right now yeah, it's almost like drizzling a light a little bit too so yeah but, uh, that scale was open again and guess what I did today I wanted to test to see if they're going to give me shit again today about my headlights. So on purposely I did not put my covers on today. Just to test it out and see if they were going to give me shit for it. They didn't say a single thing to me. See that just goes to show you there's that one DOT in there that just likes to pick on everybody. And he just likes to pick on them spotlights I guess. But anyways, I just figured I would <laughs> I would <laughs> tell you guys about that a little bit. I wanted to test that, you know, and see if they were actually going to say something about it. Because, I mean, I've been 
driving with them on now for three years and they've never said anything until last time I was down there, right? But I guess today that guy wasn't there so he wasn't giving me shit. But yeah, here we are in Manitoba. So we got about an hour and 15 minutes and we'll be rolling into the yard. Yeah, I'm happy. I'll be home after a long trip. That's for sure. But it was definitely worthwhile. I enjoyed the trip. I sure did. Well, let's make our way home to the yard and then drop this trailer and go home sweet home. It is looking more and more like winter here at home, guys. Yeah. Look at this mess in this yard up here. This is what I'm talking about sometimes, you know. You gotta drive in this mess here when I'm a home sweet home. You know, you come off the road, you got a nice clean truck, and then if it has rained over the past couple of days here in the yard, well, this is kind of what you'll see. <laughs> but anyways, we're going to go home. We have finally made it. Home sweet home. Yeah. So, let's go home and hug the wife and the kids and have a good time with them tonight. Yes, indeed.